All right, this is a video of the SJ10 Liberty Pump water-powered backup sump pump. Um, you can see here that uh, it's mounted on the drain pipe of the main pump, which is down there. Um, if you're wondering why the electrical cord is all wound up like that, it's to quiet down the water that trips down there. Okay, so what we got here is a uh, PEX line coming in. Uh, we used PEX because my basement is finished and that was the easiest way to get it around. Um, I've seen other videos uh, that um, don't use that, but they usually are unfinished and they've got plenty of room to work with. So uh, both have a, both drainage lines have a uh, check valve. Uh, in the manual it actually says that you don't need a check valve, but um, uh, I thought it was preferable seeing how I'm connecting to the same pipe that eventually goes up and outside so I didn't want um, you know the pressure from the main pump getting into the uh, the backup pump uh, so that's pretty much it um, this PEX line goes up and uh, I'll show that next so this is where it comes out uh, in the ceiling here we just drilled holes up in the uh, uh, through these two bys, the PEX line runs to here where there's a shutoff valve and then just a simple adapter from copper to PEX right there. So pretty simple setup. Uh, you can see that I went with PEX just because it's, it's easy to snake through those um, up, up through the ceiling there. So. Um, that's pretty much it. Just thought I'd share this uh, so people can see another setup for the uh, Liberty Pump. Thanks.